Hey friends, welcome to today's poetry reading. My book, Needing My Breakup Song, is available on Amazon. And today I'm gonna to be reading you guys two poems from the collection. I'm going to share a little bit about my experience with getting ghosted and when they come back. And also I will be showing you guys a little bit of my playlist, my sad girl playlist. Now the first poem is called Stop and it's on page 39. An unexpected return, a just a sudden disappearance. I will cover all the clocks. There is no use for time. Time does not move anymore. Inside these walls, nothing happens. The next poem is called Commotion and it's on page 42. You broke my quiet. I am normally alone. The isolation I chose, it did not bother me. When you come in, there is noise all around. It disrupts my familiar, bringing different sounds. They startle and amaze me. Then when you leave, it goes back to quiet. Not my tranquil state, but a sad silence. It causes me pain. I retreat to my cocoon, crying in my pillows, wishing for noise. I was in an on-again, off-again entanglement, situationship, whatever you want to call, whatever that was. It was not fun. It was not pretty. It was not cool because the reason why the experience was so hard was because this person constantly kept ghosting me and worst of all I always allowed them to come back and so I would go through periods where you know they would suddenly just go silent and I would go insane because I never knew if this silence was a goodbye or a I'm just not bothered to see you or talk to you right now and so each time that would happen I'd always have to go through this process of okay I'm healing, I'm gonna get over this person, I'm heartbroken, but you know, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna get over you, you know, and I try to hype myself up. However, it never really works and I always end up getting really sad and depressed because I would start to think, how am I here again? Because this isn't the first time, this isn't the second time, this isn't the third time, like, why am I here again? I would get so frustrated with myself thinking, why am I desperately waiting for this person to come back? And worst of all, why will I take them back? Like, I knew I shouldn't be doing this, but I knew I was going to do it anyway. It was honestly such a horrible face, but I didn't know how to, like, leave it. And so it was mostly because I, you know, genuinely didn't want it to end. So I was just clinging on and holding on to whatever, any little scraps I could get. I've already talked in my other video, Stuck in a Toxic Cycle, about just not being able to leave and break things up early and so if you want to go watch that you can hear me go into it a little bit more because today instead i want to go into what i did to survive because this didn't last for like a month or two this was a couple years of my life i had to find ways to kind of cope with my crazy roller coaster of emotions it was my own choice to be in that situation and whenever things would go bad i would always want to try to manage and you know cope and try to feel better and the way i did do that was through music and so when i would go through different phases of my heartbreak i would find a song that best matches my mood and after i find a song basically i'll sing along and cry <laughs> i shed many 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 tears over this on again off again situation the reason why i turned to songs was because i found comfort in knowing that i wasn't the only one going through this and honestly it was really reassuring to know that i'm not the only one who has been hurt by someone and also taken them back because you can start to put a lot of guilt on yourself and judge yourself really harshly sometimes when you you know, make a mistake or you keep repeating that mistake but it's nice <laughs> it's comforting when you know that you're not the only person going through that you know other people are struggling too unfortunately there are lots of people going through really bad experiences but those people that do decide to share their experience help other people going through that and so i always appreciate songs and stories that are really vulnerable when i think about why i stayed or why other people stay in situations and why they keep letting someone who hurt them come back to them i just put it down on the fact that genuinely we are human and sometimes we just are holding on to the fact that someone might change or worse sometimes we've kind of just given up on ourselves and we're just like ah this is the best it's gonna be and that's not really a good mind frame to be in. Despite having these feelings of heartbreak, there's also hope in these songs and other people's stories. 
because it means that they're either working through that process or they have passed it. And it gave me courage to believe that one day that I would eventually also choose myself and walk away from a situation that doesn't make me feel good and finally find something else that I deserve. And so that's why I share my poetry and stories just because I never know who's listening. Someone else might be going through a really confusing phase and they just want to feel like, okay, someone understands me. And that's a nice feeling to have. Even if the situation isn't the best, it's nice to feel that you're not alone going through something. I can confidently say that I don't have any open wounds about this person anymore. Needy, this project has actually helped me. It has helped me heal so much. And when I think about the past, I just see the scars that tell me that I survived and there is hope for the future. And all right, now let's play some tunes. The first song on the list is Cry. I've got the Glee version up because that's the first time I heard it but I also do like the Kelly Clarkson version This was such a bop But yeah, this is literally about when you get so lonely you give it and then you're just like i'm lonely <sighs> i'll put up with this ish i get mariah out when i want to tell myself that this is worth it that they are special that person and me we're good together that this is me being crazy about that i try to tell myself that i can hold out i need to hold out that I've just been sad in this moment and that they will come back because we belong together. And then the girls from the Saturdays make me feel comforted knowing that I'm not the only one who is not listening with here. And this thing, where's the heart? <laughs> and this thing right here is messing me up. So no, if I should hate you, I'll miss you. Can I say if I should leave you, I'll kiss you. Me and my heart, we got issues, issues, issues. When Simi's song came out, literally, I can remember where I was. I was crying. I was just like, damn, has this boy really just messaged me? I knew this was going to happen. And yeah, you, you know, he just popped up like, hey, how are you? All right, and the last song for today is when, obviously, I have decided that I'm going back. So he wants me and, you know, we're clearly destined to be together. Um, we're just going through issues. So shout out to my girl Ariana for coming up with the right song for me. You get high and call on the regular, I get weak and go oh, back to you, back to you, back to you every time. You gotta laugh. Yeah, I go back to you, back to you, back to you every time. I hope you enjoyed my bad singing. I personally love singing badly. If you come to my I Am Needy event, there will always be a music session because the book is titled My Breakup Song. It just made sense to me because music was such a big part with my heartbreak situation that I have to create an ultimate playlist. And that's what I wanna do at these events. I wanna share my playlist and I also wanna hear other people's songs. And then I'd love to create the ultimate needy girl playlist. And that will go from when you first meet the person, to when they're annoying you, they're ghosting you, to when things are good again, to when things are sad again, to when things end completely, you know, we'll have the full storyline through music and that will be really fun. Remember to register for the I Am Needy event. There will be more than one happening. So do make sure to follow me on Instagram and also follow the Eventbrite page. The Eventbrite link is down below in the description and in the comment section. Also follow me on Instagram to join in with the I Know My Needs prompts. I will be doing these throughout April and also throughout May now as well, just because I feel like there is quite a lot to get into and I definitely don't want to rush it. 
I want to take my time with it. I want to take my time with identifying my needs too and not having this. It's just a one month project. I think this can be around for a while. And so let's have a conversation over there. And so thank you so much for listening to me today. I hope to see you at one of my I Am Needy events. If you enjoy the poems and want to support me, you can buy my book Needy My Breakup Song on Amazon. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment below, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you know when I post and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.